But Smitska helping out there. And they will come away through Kirk. Kirk looks to his right. The looks go to Schultz down that side. Eberle and Kirk in the middle for support. They will throw the puck on net. And the first chance of the game, the first shot of the game, just over 30 seconds in, goes the way of the Sheffield Steelers. Kevin Schultz throwing the puck on at net, finds a way past Bonner, and the perfect start for Sheffield. We spoke about the importance of grabbing the first goal. Probably want that back, weren't they, the Storm? Yeah, it's gonna, it looks like it's going to be a long night so far. Schultz back in the lineup for the Sheffield Steelers there, uh, just putting it on Bonner. And the Steelers through this dangerous top line that they've got. Ever a great stick handle. He's got Kirk in support. He'll go himself. Excellent bit of play. Just the shot at the end of it. Not on target. Here's Peacock. Go for the pass in the middle. And like that, the Storm are level. A great move forward. Exactly what they needed at this stage. Try and cancel out that early opener. And like that, we're level 1 1. Yeah, Peak's moved up there onto that line the last couple of weeks with Critchlow and Fawcett. Nice little pass right onto the stick. Lovely little backhand by Fawcett for his first goal in this series, believe it or not. Yeah, not much Churchville could do about that one at all. Fawcett just driving the net. And then, of course, the Storm will get 11 seconds of power play time themselves when it ends. Here comes Kirk. Trying to use his speed to catch out the Storm defence. Goes around, looks to the middle. What a move, what a goal. Liam Kirk for the Sheffield Steelers. Wow. Yeah, phenomenal. I think we'll be watching that one again and again over the next uh, few months. Look at this, using his speed, trying to get around the defenceman. And the Storm duo just can't get to grips with him. Josh Hazeldine there, Dallas Earhart the other side. Just that little finish at the end where he gets it right on his toe and just pokes it straight through Bonnie's legs. Is Critchlow. Critchlow looks up for support, finds Simmons, Fawcett's there at the back post. Will he find him? He will, but Churchfield gets across. I think some on the Storm bench thought that might have gone in, but good goaltending there to be alert and shut out the gap. Yeah, very important stop there. Not really been in the action the last few minutes, so and Fawcett's going in in that far post. Great stop by Churchfield. Long looks, thinks about the shot, he does go for the shot and for a tight angle on the power play, the Storm are level, it's 2 2. Yeah, he probably, probably had too much time there from a Sheffield point of view, had time to pick his spot and take his shot. Yeah, we see the, the way the Steelers are set up there, they know how tight the angle is as well, it's going to have to be pretty perfect to find its way in, and it does. And do you think Churchfield probably want that back, do we think? or? I won't put too much on us on the goalkeeper there. It's like when you leave the Manchester Storm's top goal scorer that much time on the power play. Does really well to keep hold of it. And a good idea otherwise to chuck it there. I think the other players would look to make a run though as they dispossess so well from Dowd down on that right hand side. Really good stick work from Dowd who will now carry it away for the Steelers. Grand stick against the boards there. Probably shows their frustration. Jonathan Phillips with a shot. It's bobbling everywhere, nobody's really sure where it is. Dowd, though, again, been so influential in this shift. Finds the pass to Alden, Alden looks up. Sam Jones is there in support. Instead, he'll go to Adam Jones, he'll chuck it in towards net. Grant's lost his stick, but it's Davies who temporarily looks to clear it. Puck going everywhere, good chance for the Steelers to convert. They do, Jonathan Phillips, really good shift there from that line. It results in a Steelers goal. They go 3-2 up. It was a little bit calamitous a uh, few seconds earlier on. You know, Storm lost the, the puck at the feet. They couldn't find out where it was. They couldn't clear the lines and then Steelers just kept on at it and eventually it popped out in front. Nice little pass. And the Steelers take the lead. Yeah, Jonathan Phillips in the right place there. Really nice pass from Oldham. But Robert Dowd on that shift was absolutely everywhere, whether it's Creighton at this end, bringing it forward. But it all started from this dispossession down here in his own zone. Yeah. Good opportunity now for the Steelers to, to go two goals ahead, which would be huge at this stage of the game. Yeah, Manchester Storm having all that zone time and giving up this penalty late on in the, in the second period. Golden opportunity for the Steelers to get some daylight. Mitzka will go for the pass towards the back post. It's found its way in. And the Steelers capitalise on the power play. The hard pass going towards the back post. Bonner goes across. Can't get across in time, though. And on the power play late in this second period, it's the Steelers who go two goals ahead. Yeah, that man Mitzka again. He's on fire at the moment. Great pass there. And a good shot on a, on a bobbling putt. Just beats him stick side. Yeah. Olden in possession for the Steelers. Good stick handling. Backhand. 
real pace on that shot as well. It's just too high though, and the impact this line has for the Steelers, such a threat. But here's Fawcett, he'll look central to Peacock. It's bobbling everywhere. Peacock goes into Churchfield. I'm not sure even knew too much about it. Just force it. Back to Earhart. Earhart threw it in. Looking for the deflection. It's found all the way through and in. And with 11.15 remaining in the third period, the storm of half the deficit. Dallas Earhart waits to see if there's a touch on it, though. Yeah, this comes after Churchfield just had a bit of a bump. I was thinking whether he'd settle himself in his crease and settle. Earhart throws it towards net and just comes off the bottom of Churchfield's blocker. Perhaps he's trying to anticipate the tip off Peacock. So essentially the Storm almost two goals down it feels like and they've empty net at one end. They've pulled Bonner which shows you the situation they're in. They'll chuck it towards. This isn't what they wanted though. Empty net opportunity for the Steelers to win it. They take it and with 2.25 they restore the two goal lead. And I think that all but confirms that this is going to be a playoff game. Yeah, unfortunately for the Storm there, they just couldn't get going from the face-off right after the, the timeout. They needed to win that and start moving it around, and, and it drops to that forward line of the Sheffield Steelers. The Sheffield Steelers wrap up a 5-3 win. The Sheffield Steelers, the top seed of this series, finish game. 24 of 24 with a victory in a close and entertaining game. It had quality, it had physicality, but what it does mean is that we get to do it all over again, twice next week.